G'day friends, I'm coming to you from the workshop today where I'm going to be fitting some roller modular roof racks onto the patrol. So laid out on the floor behind me here is what's going on. Kindly supplied to me by roller. And so we're going to have a look at what we've got. I've actually had a play with this. This is called the Titan flat tray system and all of the other um, multi-fit accessories that go with it. I've had a play with it before and I'm pretty keen on this gear so when Roller hit me up I said yeah I'd proudly wear some of that on the patrol. Here's what we've got. That box there says multi-fit jerry can holder. This box here, gas bottle holder, that'll be handy. We've got ratchet pair. I guess that's ratchet straps. Multi-fit LED bracket. Well, I know that that one is a uh, like a light bar mount, LED light bar mount, or you could use it for work lights as well. Uh, or through the middle here. Super duper handy. Recovery track mounting system. There's a picture of kind of how it works. Uh, awning bracket. Need that to mount my awning. And then all these boxes here are the roof rack system. So I start here, that's the roof bars, uh, that's a side rail kit. So this is the flat tray, this is the 2, two metre by 1.2 metre rack. So what you can do with all this stuff is you can have a completely flat rack and that just sits on top of the bars, all bolts together quite nice and then you can choose to have side supports so you can have a flat rack like that and then put side rails on it. And then if you want as well, you can use these ones. This is the 1.2 meter one for the front. Let's crack open a couple of these other boxes here and uh, see what's, what these look like. So I'll start with the jerry can holder. Oh yeah. Fits jerry cans up to 185 millimeters wide. I guess it's the same in that box then. What's in here? Gas bottle holder. It's pretty good. Built in ratchet strap. That goes over the top of it. Oh, yeah, and there's a, what the completed product should look like. That'll be good because I currently have no way of strapping down my gas bottle and I do like to carry a gas bottle with me because I like having the three burner stove especially when I've got a big camp and we've got lots of people to feed. Here we've got ratchet pair. Okay that's literally what it says. That's some ratchet tie downs. All nice and matching. And Oh yeah, high bolts, that makes sense. this you slip that sleeve up wizard sleeve I tell you
So Bo, Jake and myself got away to Albany in the patrol for a couple of days. Being three of us in one vehicle, we had that roof rack pretty well loaded. 40 litres of water, a gas bottle, the treads, high lift jack, three swags and three chairs. How's that view there? Camped here last night, actually just a little bit further down, and I drastically underestimated the tide, and the car ended up half underwater, but only up to like the brake discs, so it's the only bit that's gonna rust. Anyway, I'm gonna show you through this roller Titan tray uh, roof setup and accessories. This is the first trip that I've had this stuff on here for, and uh, as you can see, I've got the high lift jack mounted up here get these nifty little brackets and it holds the handle steady and everything. Uh, I've also got two jerry can holders up there, gas bottle holder. If we come around the side, would have seen it near my head before. Tread mount, holding my treads up there. And on the front here, light bar mount. We've got the roller tie-down straps holding our three swags on the roof. And then around here, there's a, um, a bracket holding the awning onto the roof tray. Now, my overall impression of it, it's a pretty handy setup. Like, let's go back around and have a look at the jerry can holders. So you see, it's got this bracket piece here. This one's done down a bit tight. The uh, can's a bit crushed another piece at the front. So those mounts can be adjusted in and out for all sorts of different size jerry cans. And yeah, they're doing the job. At the moment I've got 40 litres of water up there. In the future I'm going to put the water storage inside the car. Uh, these will be great for a trip I'm doing up to the Pilbara later in the year where I'm going to have to carry some extra fuel. So I might even have to get a third one there and fit it here. Carry three jerry cans, 60 litres of spare fuel. Now what I like about this one is I've previously just strapped I've previously just strapped gas bottles on before and they if you don't do up the strap tight enough it tends to slip around in here. Well this one you can see has a ring in the middle. And that ring, yeah, slips over the top there, holds it nice and sturdy. I think they reckon you can have up to a, a four kilo gas bottle on there. That's about a four and a half kilo. So that thing's pretty awesome. Uh, with the tracks, these are a nice simple thing, a little lip there, so your tracks sit on there while you strap them in. And I've got a bicycle cable lock just going through the holes on the back of my tracks and around the whole roof rack. So the whole lot's very configurable as in where you can put each accessory. This one took a bit of playing around with, ideally I wanted the foot of the jack to be flipped up that way. But you need to be able to open up the handle so that you can get the clip through it. So it had to go with the handle facing upwards, which is why I had to have it that way. Other than that sort of thing, you can have like this tread mount, I could have that all the way at the front or anywhere along in between. The whole lot uses channel nuts. So the, um, a square headed flat looking bolt or nut and with a protruding thread coming up so you can slide it back and forth. And there's channels all over it. So there's channels in the roof bars. There's a channel that runs all the way around the edge of the tray. And then there's channels that run through the the middle of the platform rack so you can bolt all these accessories wherever you see fit. And it certainly makes it a lot easier not having to hold the bottom of it with an adjustment Yeah, panel. so you just slide it through and just do it up nice and easy. As far as noise goes, it's a, it's a pretty quiet rack, like there's no wind noise that I've heard. What I am hearing though is it's been on there for oh, maybe 500 k's and we've thrown all this weight up there and now I think it started to come loose in the mounts here. So I'm hearing a lot of creaking coming through the roof. I think I need to tighten up these Torx security screws, but I didn't bring my Torx set with me. 
always keep the tools handy to be able to do it up and adjust it. I'm not sure even if it's here or if it's where the tray mounts onto the roof bar that might be making all the noise. Awesome setup, you can pick and choose all the bits you want. You can just see that I've got the sides and the fronts on there. You can have it as just a platform tray, you can have just the fronts, you can have just the sides. So you can pick and choose it all as you see fit. So it's a pretty decent modular setup. So you might see how I use it in different ways in the future. I'm gonna somehow mount a light on the back there. So I might pop into the store and uh, see if they've got any mounts to put a work light or something facing over the back. It's gonna be mighty handy for carrying some firewood around in winter, I tell you that. 